hello guys welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose i hope you are all doing well in this video we are going to detect faces inside images and we are going to uh, use different test images with having a single face and multiple faces so let's get started So here I am creating a new class detect faces and then I am importing two of the frameworks with UI and vision and after that we are using three of the variables which, uh, which are going to process all the images and detect faces inside them. An input image with the name image, an output image and a detected faces array which, which will be of the type VN face observation. VN face observation is basically the type that will return the location of uh, face as well as other facial features information inside it. So we are creating a function detect faces which will take input as our the input image and then it is going to convert that image into CI image. CI image is basically the form of image that can be processed by the core image functions. After that we are going to create a request we can detect face rectangles request and pass it a completion handler. We haven't implemented the uh, completion handler yet. Then we are going to pass it to a VN image request handler and uh, all the try catch uh, uh, statements are implemented here uh, now let's proceed forward
so we are writing the completion handler of the vn detect face rectangles request with the name of handles faces data it is going to be run asynchronously so we have used this line dispatch queue dot main dot async after that we are going to get the results and convert them into vn face observation array we are going to pass this array into our detected faces variable after that we are going to manipulate this array and uh, do some uh, image operations on it inside another function that i'm going to show you in a few moments and we are going to uh, write that changed image into our output image
so we have created another function add faces rec to image to basically process all the faces data which we have received inside the results of the request we are first creating a variable image size with the image size and width after that we are getting the bounding box from the result we are going to scale it according to the image size then normalize this rect after that we are going to start writing the, all the values with the context inside the image with the function ui graphics begin image context we have set the color to red with the line width 100 and after that we are going to set the stroke values now you have seen that stroke values are again multiplied with the image size that is basically to scale the normalized value according to the image and after that we are going to get the image from the context and we are going to basically close this context so our image will be inside the variable image So here I am making a small change to the handle faces data and calling the add face rector image function with an iterator of self dot detected faces. So here I am fixing an error in the detected faces function by making the second variable on the handle faces data and with an optional chaining operator question mark and after that the error will disappear.
so this is a simple content view which basically shows if the face detector has returned no output image the image is nil we are going to show the original image otherwise we are going to show the image with the detected faces rectangles and there is a button which we are going to press and call the function in of detected faces so this is all for the content view So guys we have done all the coding now we are going to play the code and as you can see that there is an error that you are going to observe with code 9 could not create inference context. This is basically due to the reason we are running this code inside a simulator and not on actual device for that we are going to create basically here an if statement with setting the target environment as simulator. So if the target environment is simulator, this these uh, statements will only take effect in that case. When we are uh, we have added these statements, after that we are going to run the code. We will be able to successfully detect the rectangles. So we have run the code and you have seen that in the single images where there is only one face they are detected perfectly and in the case where there are a lot of images it is able to detect all the faces but there is another false positive and a hands of a person with some gap in it is also detected as a face and so these type of errors can also occur in some cases so this is all for this tutorial. So guys this is all for this video I hope you have enjoyed this video if there are any comments or queries post in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to this channel also I am going to work on some other face uh, detection and recognition related algorithms and tutorials in future so stay tuned take good care of yourself bye.